Alright, what is up you guys? Well always welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle with yours truly the Skyrender. And I really can't stress this enough. I think this is a trick room team. I really fear the Mew lead, yeah. <laughs> a lead off with Dunsparts, I do kinda recognize that if you wanna cripple something, I probably don't wanna do that and get myself crippled myself. Uh, and out of self-interest, I really think Rotom might be the most solid one. Like that bit scared about this team being somewhat of a trick room team, but if I can cripple as much as possible, I'm gonna actively decide to take that route. Let's see, goes for an Aura Sphere. That's way better. Ooh. Ooh, took that. So maybe not that offensive. Also, my controller on the west, or my left controller is not responding well. So I really hope I don't screw myself over there. Fun a wave. Uh, <clears throat> really, six months with leftovers. I feel like the animations alone are gonna be considered timer stalling at this point. I'm, like I guess I'm gonna look that over. I don't believe, um, I don't believe that's a good look. <laughs> Playing hyper offensive with very defensive team. Let's see, stays in. That's quite right. We do have speed also, which is a warning sign for me. And um, I can only assume keeps going for our sphere. That's fine. Gonna so let's chug that. We're gonna take that really well. Now, depending on his mew, I should say, and I, he could be a will o wisp set, which is something I do fear. But I want to take this opportunity of just Volt Switch out. On the off chance that he could be crippled, which is always nice. And uh, lead into the main mod of this week, really, or Roland's suggestion to Belize the Miss Mages. This controller is killing me. There's something wrong with it. I need to restart, I think. He's drifting. Oh, he transformed. Okay. Um, I summon this then. I don't want to get myself paralyzed. That would be very unfortunate. Everything is yellow magic. Let's find out what he is all about. <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not want to see that. I could get myself reverse sweeped, and that's that's not a pleasant time. At least I force a play here. I kind of hope. Whatever play I force, he's gonna be like fully paralyzed, right? That's gonna be my strat. Because uh, while Hex is weak at plus one, Miss Major should be able to break it. And that's not good. Go for a substitute on his own. Fine by me. He, he gets the concept, I would say. Okay, after two Calm Minds, I probably need to start attacking, though. I mean, I am trying to check myself, and that might actually not be too benefited. Let's find out. You should be crippled. Oh, yo, oh, buddy, what? No. Why did that happen? Right, like I said, kind of need to be fully paralyzed. Maybe went for a substitute in case I was trying to break the sub, I guess. That would be the only thing. Oh, come on, he cancelled? Buddy. Elias, for shame. Alright, what is up you guys? Good always, welcome back to the wi battle and... Um, I really like seeing the Reggies. I, I really do. <laughs> like, Glare is awesome. If I can get Garchomp Glare, that should be in a fair enough position. 
Right, so Flosha may be not the funniest lead for me to deal with. If it is an eruption set, or even Spex eruption, I'm... I am dealt with. But I can't take any chances. Shadow Claw. Ooh. That's an in-game, right? Has it gotta be an in-game. That, that, that's not nice. Oh. Right. I mean, who am I to judge, right? Burn up. Ooh. That's way cooler, and it did way more damage, too. Oh. Alright, we've seen Shadow Claw, we saw Burn Up. From here on out, I. Do I sack this guy? I don't wanna. Let's try this one out. Basically, my, my idea here is that if I'm lucky, like Shadow Claw shouldn't do a whole lot, and I think Flamethrower hopefully doesn't do as much. Ugh. Yeah, that was not pretty. Alright. If I would speed, I should be able to, like, <laughs> solve a little bit of that damage. Oof. Not the best switching, that's for sure. That looks better. Maybe not as well as I wanted to, but good enough. Since I would speed, I should be able to at least get some fair recovery here. And it's basically like Regirock and Registeel are, in my book, manageable. Uh, it is way worse with like the mons like Garchomp, which I shouldn't outspeed, and if I do, I will not be able to defeat it. But the Regis are definitely not an issue. Here comes... Oh right, Empoleon. Um... <clears throat> I am not sure about this. I actually just gonna go for Drain Punch. Oh. 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 God. Oh. Okay. Looks about right. Hey, so what is up, you guys? Cool, always welcome back to our wife of battle, which are truly. The Skyrender, and um, honestly, I do not like this team at all. I look at it, questions I'll never explain. He starts off with Iron Bird, which makes it all the more worse. He can actually heavily spike later on me if he wants to. I really can't hurt it. Ice Beam, while neutral, will not really help out unless he is speedier, which he isn't. So I can earth power him. Let's see. Yeah. Nice exchange. I like that. I like that a lot. Awesome stuff. Oh, let's hurt each other. <laughs> I'm getting speed. All right. Full hazards. Do we see leftovers? We do not. The only thing I'm worried about is Whirlwind, actually. Because now we're going to set up the rocks too, which makes this a bit more stressful. I don't like the Iron Bird. Um, there's the Whirlwind. The only thing I feared besides fear itself. I, I swear, I probably got the worst out of this. Depending on, however, I can glare this guy. Which will infinitely make this um, a stranger matchup. Let's do that. I am totally down with this. If I can get this guy crippled, you know, that's the progress I'll, I'll take. Get something better. <laughs> 
Oh, Gallade. That doesn't need to be half bad, actually. If he has a Brave Bird, which is a scenario I'm trying to cope with, I can probably bulk up here and um, scare him off a little bit. I'm actually going to try that out. Who draws the Iron Bird? That's good. To Reggie Rock. Oh, oh, buddy. If you don't have the means, then this is it for you. Infinite power! It actually all defends. I'm pretty sure this guy can have uh, Thunder Wave. Or I know it has. Which is why I got it too. <laughs> Yellow magic sucker. Let's see what you're all about. Curse. Hmm. Well, my best guess here is that I will absolutely be speedier in this scenario. So all I need in theory is a fully crippled turn. Not to say that, you know, Regirog clearly boosts a lot more of its defenses than I'll boost my attack. Which, um, you know, hindsight is 2020, but you never expect this set, so... Why should this time be different? My plan B here is basically if he gets fully paralyzed one turn, I'll hit him. Earthquake. Nice. We do take it. So we're gonna force him for a curse plate, which is um, great. Let's try that out. Ah, it moves! Progress has been made. Keeps quaking, which is fine by me. Unless you get a crit, because all of a sudden then... Things get kinda... Um, kind of interesting. Do we see leftovers? We do not. So, consider the amount of damage I did, I clearly go for another bulk up here, hoping for a non-crit, right? Switches out, fine! To the chomp, which I definitely believe will not be able to deal with this. Unless we have a surprise specs chomp, I guess. Oh, Gilead, you're just magnificent. This is... Um, this is a touch of luxury you don't see every day. I am kind of like scared if I see like a surprise scarf chomp, which it wasn't, but it definitely managed to live, which is by far worse. That that I did not expect. Granted, I don't have that much attack investment, but at the same time, come on. If it isn't, like, super obvious, I'm actually jolly with almost max HP and speed. The idea was in... Oh, come on! Come on, buddy! Well, fair enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I'll probably bunch these shorter games together for the hell of it. So with that in mind, take care, everyone.